You have no idea how long it has been raining for. Like I've been, I've been logging on every now and then to check the the black market over here. I I do that maybe not often, but you know I I do it every now and then because it's satisfying and addicting. And every time it's been raining and I haven't been able to sleep yet. Oh dear. But actually, that is very fitting because one of the things that I want to do in today's episode is to do some housekeeping. But before then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. Let's go. Yep, see? Still still can't sleep, so uh, that's fine, because we're going to be down here for a while, actually. Before we do anything, though, I did set up this in between episodes, and um, I'm gonna just quickly do that, and also do that, because that is very, very, very noisy. It, it's cool, because I currently only have 87 soul shots, and this way you can just automate like getting a bunch but yeah it, it's noisy and before we get to this room i did buy this unidentified relic fragment from the black market like i said earlier i do check it every once in a while and uh let's see what we get we currently have two that are almost like finished we just need one more of each and we have one two three four where we have three so we are really really close to having a finished relic so let's take a look here what is that i recognize it but i also don't recognize it yep that was a duplicate <laughs> we're getting close though we are getting very close indeed oh wait i think i think i think yes we can sleep finally oh man that's good that is more like it but anyways let us head on over here because in the last episode we reached level 50 51 to be exact and that allows us to now go ahead and make melded tools and i want to get some new tools today because this one it's a level 20. Uh, it has been completely repaired and it's almost pretty much done with uh, existing. Uh, this thing, the hammer, the hammer is cool and I like it, but I do like the sickle better. I feel like this, the hammer, when you mine chests, it just mines too many other blocks around it. So I'm going to put that aside and I want to make a complete new set of tools. Currently we have three here. I would like to just have two. So that is one of the things that we do today and hopefully we will be able to test them later on. So the first tool that I want to make is a sickle, this thing right here, and it has a capacity of 250. I believe these are capacity of, um, can't see it here, but I'm pretty sure the capacity is 200. So that's 50 more than what we have had so far. And then I also want to make a pickaxe. I want to make a pickaxe and I want to turn this kind of into my pack saw, if you will. So for that, we're going to need some jewels. I have already done a little bit of preparation, though I'm not quite done yet because uh, I want to add some more stuff to this as well. So I need to go through these and find all the right stuff for the sickle. We're going to start off with the sickle. And first off, I need all the different affinities. And I think these are it, the coin affinity. Then we have wooden affinity, 10 size plus a 2% item rarity. That's good, or eight affinity. Uh, gilded and living. So let's go ahead and plop that onto here and that leaves us with a capacity of 165. Now considering these are chests, I haven't really been using stuff like item quantities very much and I feel like, ooh, I feel like I kind of want to do that for this tool. I would take this because it has item rarity and gilded affinity plus a decent size but it has picking. I don't want to have like shoveling, axing or picking on this thing because that means it'll just be able to mine more blocks that I don't want it to. I want that thing to only be able, as much as possible, I know it mines leaves and such, but only be able to mine chests. So that's some item quantity right there. I wouldn't mind having more item rarity because that's cool. We still have a capacity of 128. We could pretty much fill this up with like a bunch of... Actually, what is worth it here? Uh, where's the... Coin affinity, we can choose coin affinity plus durability or yeah, but more durability is probably good. Ooh, even more item rarity. I will take that and I'm pretty sure that I should have a nice reach jewel somewhere around here. That's some extra item quantity and mining speed. That might not be too bad. Aha, uh -huh. let's take this reach as well because the further I can actually reach, the faster I will be able to actually mine up. Uh, chess. I think this is actually pretty good. We have ornate affinity, extra durability, coin affinity, 5.5% item rarity, wooden affinity, gilded affinity, living affinity, 5.5% item quantity, mining speed, almost, I think that's a full block of reach almost, 
and we still have 54 capacity remaining. I think this is going to be a pretty awesome tool. And we can always make adjustments to this as well. Dang it, I forgot to try and cut some of the jewels down. I I completely forgot I wanted to do that. Oh well. Uh we, it's fine. Everything's fine. Now for the pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, I want this to be somewhat of a paxel, if you will. This is cool, and I might try and cut it if I can get smelting off of it. Yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 because that means I don't have to use Chevrolet. We also get vanilla immortality and durability. That is pretty good right there, and it's already a pickaxe, so we don't need to add picking onto it. That is good. That is very good. Uh... A nice mining speed would be good as well. And again, this is just for blocks and ores, so we need copiously and mining speed, essentially, just. I guess we can use this one. That's a pretty good jewel. And don't need trap disarm chance, don't need item quantity. I don't think that affects the um, uh, ores. But we do want a bunch of copiously. And even more vanilla immortality. I'll t Ooh, and even more, actually. This is pretty good. This is pretty decent, I think. 11% copiously, 7.3 mining speed, extra durability, vanilla immortality, shoveling, axing, and picking. I think that's pretty decent. I think that is pretty decent. Um, I am going to take these and not do the mistake that I did before. And I want to try and cut some of these down if I can. Even if it's just a little bit. I don't dare do do with that. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. But that's just going to, like, get, get, cut down the cost a little bit. And, uh, ooh, dare I do that? This will make it lose a random FX. Okay. Wait, one free cut. Nope, I don't, I, I forgot I already did it with that one. Uh, fine, I'll use the tent shoveling. Can I, nope, I can't, okay. That's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It now has 96 extra capacity. We'll do it. <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> Uh, wait, it doesn't have axing. Oh, it's axing it lost. I think I just wasted. Oh, dear. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. It's fine. I'll cut this down. 16. Uh, 16 size. Uh, no, not on that. This, this. It's still fine. It's still fine. There we go. Now it has axing. Good. I thought it looked a little bit weird. Okay. I wanted to use... It's fine. It's fine. I got confused. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. Now, these tools are not quite done yet. We still need to go ahead and enchant them. And then we have these runes that I think it would be kind of cool to give some glint, uh, the enchantment glint on them. And I also want to enchant, not enchant, I want to add an enchantment glint onto my sword because red, I think will look kind of cool. You can just about notice it. Just a little bit of red color there. Because it's it's strong. I mean, look at this thing. 25.5 attack damage. It's not max roll, but it's a legendary roll. I'm very happy with it. Deal with it. <laughs> Alright, so this thing is going to get efficiency and unbreaking. I don't think fortune is actually going to have an effect. Let me know if that does an effect on the chest down below in the comments. Um, efficiency 5, fortune, and unbreaking, just like that. Beautiful. Now... I just need to go ahead and get some coloring done. So light blue, I want that to be for the pickaxe. And then I do want yellow for the sickle. Because yellow, kind of gold, treasure, you know, that kind of thing. And blue, because it, it has mining speed and it, it kind of reminds me of ores, not gonna lie. And there we go, yellow rune. Let's go ahead and apply that. Oh, look at that. Yup. And look at this. That is looking pretty cool not gonna lie i'm very excited to try out these in the vaults and these two wolves these old ones can now go ahead and get retired they've been good but we got better stuff now so they're now in reserve how much would it cost me to buy my stuff at e 90 90 i i don't have 90 if i die i don't get my stuff back oh dear <laughs> well speaking of coins we do need to we do need to open this, which we got in the last episode. I just, we completed it. I just completely forgot to open it. So there you go. Now, I do want to run a vault, but before we do that, uh, first of all, this is a tough crystal, but we have another issue to tackle, and that is this chest right here. Um, it's, it's getting, it's getting full. 
Yeah, it's getting full, but I didn't know this, but apparently you can make different tiers of uh, colossal chests. So if I just do this, you can go copper, iron, gold, diamond, uh, tin, nope, silver, uh, yeah, obsidian even. So that's kind of cool. And I was thinking maybe we should upgrade it a little bit. So I think we should do that. But first, I want to add another addition to this wall of drawers. If I just go ahead and craft two of these pretty easy enough go and deposit all that and place these here. There are a couple of things I would like to move out of this chest, such as the scouncers, the vault scrap, the empty flasks, the blank seals. These really should go into the bounty table, but the dream stones would be cool. Um, not to cook steak, maybe the vault ingots and uh, these uh, pickles as well. Pickles for sure. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, eternal souls. Let's get rid of that as well. I don't know if we actually get these still. Let me know down below in the comments. You probably, you definitely know that better than I do. Because if we don't, I kind of would like to move them out so we don't have them just sitting there. And there we go. I think that is pretty good. Again, we can empty those down the road. What is that? Vault Mars. Why am I not getting more of that? Is that a scavenger item? It's decorative. Huh. That's odd. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go ahead and slap the quantity key on there and then lock them so nothing bad can happen to that. And then let us turn our attention to this thing. Now, if I break the center block, everything will spill out. So I kind of need to empty this first, take it down and then upgrade it with this. But first I need a lot of copper and I don't think I actually have yeah, no, we need to go on a little bit of a mining expedition here. Let's grab the warp stone and I know just the place to get a lot of copper. First, I just want to check because I don't remember the spawn rate of copper. Like, could it spawn on the mountains? I'm seeing primarily coal and iron. So I do think we need to head down into a cave to find it. I just wanted to make sure. Actually, there's a lot of iron here. Like a lot of iron. Wow. All right. Well, let's dive in. And I should have brought night vision, shouldn't I? And let's hope we can find a bunch of copper. I will get iron as well if I see it or some of it anyway. And I don't know how far down we need to go, but I see copper and we're using the brand new pickaxe as well. We need to enable the, the magnet and hopefully we should get quite a bit fairly quickly. Oh, look at the sword in this like the in this setting. I don't know what the word is, but look at it. It's so cool. This thing is so cool. Hey, Ender man. There we go. Nice. Oh, I do want. Oh, dear. OK, maybe this maybe this was a mistake. <laughs> maybe this was a mistake. <laughs> now, I'm not sure how much copper I'll need, but I do know that I will need mm, a lot. Hmm. It primarily spawns at Y level 50, 40 ish. And I'm currently at yeah, I'm way too low actually for copper. I uh, need to go back up. All right, I think we are slowly getting there. My inventory is almost pretty much full <laughs> of copper. I've grabbed a little bit of iron, but not much compared to the copper. And I'm hoping that it's going to be enough. I'm uh, fine. I'll th I'll throw the oop, I'll throw then the pearls just for the sake of getting a little bit more copper. All right, I think that's good. Let's uh, let's hope. Otherwise, I'll have to come back here. And with this furnace, we'll be able to just do that and watch it all smelt. <laughs> I love this thing. In the meantime, we can get a bunch of the other stuff that we need. For example, a couple stacks of chromatic iron ingots. And then we can think about how we're going to tackle this. It'll be a lot of... Um, be actually, I mean, this thing isn't very full. I could probably just transfer that stuff to that stuff. Maybe it might work. Well, first things first, let's convert a bunch of these into blocks. Give me all this. This is so, so satisfying. <laughs> so satisfying. And give me all the and all the XP as well. Just flowing in. Man, I love this thing. Oh, we don't have enough power to actually keep this going. Okay, uh, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> But actually, hold up, we are actually keeping up with these. Well, with is the sun going? Oh, the sun is going down. Okay. We 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 are actually we are keeping up with like three of the slots just from the um 
just from the solar powers up there. That's cool, actually. All right, well, smelt all this as well while you're at it. All right, I have a little bit to spare, hoping this is enough, but it probably won't be. Um, okay, I'm gonna place you down here, and I'll place this stuff in here, because now I'm going to do probably something that I'm going to regret. Oh boy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yep, yep, yep. But I think this is the fastest way of actually transferring items over, just having this top part of my inventory free, and then run down, grab, deposit, grab, deposit, and then we'll have to empty it afterwards. Actually, if I turn on my magnet, all the items in theory should be following me so I can just stand here and do it all from here. Oh yeah, much better and also way more satisfying. The frames are not that good, but man, this is, <laughs> this is satisfying. And I think I think I have everything. Yep, looks like it. All right, very cool. Now I just need to get that core back, which was picked up. There we go. And now I can go ahead and just um, get rid of this entire thing and get rid of that. All right, time to get to crafting. Oh yeah, and I'll need one, two, three pieces of Laramar. So we can get this now, uh, a chest wall. We can get this and we can also get this, which means all I need to do now is... Oh, I actually have enough. Oh, wow, that was... That was easy. All right, so the chest interface goes there, and the core, again, goes in the center where it was before. First, we gotta build this up, though. Uh, core goes there, if I remember correctly. Do this. Boom! Copper Colossal Chest. Question is, how much bigger is this compared to the other one? I guess there's really only one way to find out. Um... I guess I have to transfer the, the stuff now. Uh, getting the vault stuff out first is probably a good idea. It should all fit into a double chest so I can like get all of this stuff out that shouldn't go into the vanilla chest. And there we go. We can actually move those out of their inappropriate place, which is up there. Up, I said up there. Is it? Oh, it's full. Well, uh, it's gonna go there for now. All right, add all this stuff here. Boom. Now, I could either break that, or I could literally just keep clicking on the, until there's nothing left to click. <laughs> I'm sure there's an easier way of transferring stuff over, but um, yeah, this, this is how I'm gonna do it, I guess. This is actually very satisfying as well. Just the plopping sound. <laughs> I like it. This does make me question, however, why I have so many items. Like, a lot of this stuff is just singular stuff. I really should do something about that and go through everything and, like, sort things out, maybe? Because <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. All right, and just... Oh. Apparently there was an E in that, and I'm nowhere near done. I thought it was empty, but no, it wasn't. Definitely wasn't. Okay, good to know. Good to know. All right, now everything has been transferred over and nothing is left in there. And let us see how much space we now have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's like double, almost double the amount of space. This is going to last us for quite a while, I think. So we don't have to worry about getting refined storage just this instance. However, it is something that I do want to get pretty soon, though. Maybe not my next mod, but maybe my... Uh, the mod after that. Because I kind of do also want create, even though I'm not sure what I would use it for at this point in time. All right, I think that is my housekeeping stuff done. I want to run. I, I I want to run a vault now. Um, which is going to be very interesting because of that recipe. Um, in fact, I don't have any cactus. I don't think I have any. Uh, yeah, I have that, but that is not the dead coral. I don't think I have any. What what is that? Cobbled or deep? Actually, I have plenty of... No, I actually don't have that either. <laughs> In fact, I don't even have blaze rods. Oh boy, definitely gonna be needing this. Okay, uh, what are we gonna get first? Cactus is a desert. I have found a desert, which is over there, and that is also the coral. So, 
that is going to be our first star because that's going to be two ingredients in one. And here we are in what I thought is a desert and is oh hello okay yep this is a desert I just didn't see any cactus. I need 24 of them. I probably should save a little bit for a cactus farm. I do need to start making some farms. I have sugarcane farms and bamboo farms, but I don't have cactus coral farms if that's a thing. I don't even know if it's a thing. Would be cool as well. I need to think of what stuff I need to future proof for. If you have if you guys have any like ideas or know something for stuff that, for farms that are like good to get going for the future, like a cactus farm potentially, let me know down below in the comments. I need more cactus, but I can't resist this anymore. I need to see what this is. Check the surrounding area, everything seems fine. Drop down, don't step on this. And let's see what we got. I mean horse harbor could potentially get in get become useful. Don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Allow slingshot for it to ignore gravity. Uh, that's kind of cool. I mean, I'll take everything because everything is pretty much useful. Don't really care about the books. You want some diamonds? Nice. And you know what? I'll grab the TNT as well because why? Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. Because why not? What is this? This sand from thermal expansion, and you can get oil from it and what can you use use oil for i suppose you can make light oil and heavy oil which you can then use for making fuel which i suppose you can then use to make power okay i mean i'm here might as well grab it that's kind of cool that is a mod actually i just thought about that that is a mod i kind of would like to have thermal expansion let me know what other big mods that you think I should take. Should it be create? Should it be refined storage? Should it be thermal expansion? Should it be something completely different? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. All right, 29 cactus. That is good enough for me. So let's go ahead and wait. Wait, I forgot why I came out here. One of the reasons was I can get coral. I'm not done yet. And this doesn't actually break it. What about you? Nope, that doesn't break it either. Okay, that's... That's annoying. I need... I forgot what I need for it. I need shears or something, or silk touch. Either one of those. Well, I can submit the cactus, I suppose. <laughs> need a break from that, though, so let's go ahead and teleport to the nether castle. So we can get some blaze rods. Oh, right by this place as well. That's perfect. Now I just gotta wait. Hey, fellas, please give me what I need. That's only two. I need a lot more than that. And there we go. That is 14. That should be plenty. And that is the deep slate taken care of. I suppose crying obsidian might become handy at some point. Never know. All right. Time to get a lot of coral. Now I'm getting them and they're not dead. So I need to actually harvest them. Get back home. Place them and then wait for them to actually dry out. So that's be interesting and i think that that should do okay i can't teleport apparently while i'm underwater that's fun all right do it now please please before i drown again there we go okay good now again i think i need to place them and then unless there's a way i can actually like cook them or something and nope there's not i need to place every single one of them wait for them to dry out and then I can actually pick them up again over here. And final one placed. Now I can go ahead, use the silk touch, I assume. Yes. Okay, phew. Get all of these. Careful not to vein mine anything but these fellas. And then we should be good to go, I think. Yep, crystal complete. Oh boy. <laughs> That took a while but, and it's raining okay perfect timing though because we won't be sticking around for much longer i'm going to grab my pouches i'm not going to put anything specific on this crystal we're just gonna run it and hope for the best i think i have everything on me i feel like i'm missing something but i think i have everything that i need so for bounties we have killed well one mobs in the vault that's pretty good and then we have item discovery find two inscriptions in the vault that should be okay we get a bunch of vault ingots, some uh, knowledge essence, and some echo gems. I think that is fine. I think I have everything. I feel like I'm missing something, but we're just gonna go through. Three, two, one, let's go. Aha, champion's abode. Can we actually champion? No. 
uh, seal. Is it not possible to get Hunt the Guardians? It could be this. Is the seal of the Executioner for this vault? I might have to make that next time and see if this is the one that we get. Anyway, 25 minutes on the clock. Let's go. Let's test these brand new tools. I did get my chest plate on. Yes, I did. Okay, good. <laughs> This is going to be interesting. I just realized uh, there's a lot of these. I just can't pick them up because I don't have silk touch on anything. Oh, joy. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Okay, more mining speed for this thing is probably going to be good for the wooden chests. So more mining speed will be the most ideal, I think. Come on. Ow, these guys are tanky. I haven't run a vault in a long time. I feel like I say that in every episode, and I feel like I say that in every episode, but still, I haven't, so deal with it. <laughs> there we go. Break that. Enable the magnet so things go a little bit smoother. Yep, yeah, I love this. I, I just, that's just personal preference. I just like the sickle more than the hammer. I feel like it's easier. The hammer just picks up a bunch of other stuff around it that is a not nature block so i find that a little bit annoying oh wait uh, what on earth hello oh okay um so i need to like take you out first because the other ones are basically not able to die i don't know what i can't kill you either what on earth is going on here okay hold on get up here get up i need to i need to get rid of you basically Ow. okay okay yeah, see, I can't punch any of these fellas. Uh oh. Get oh, there's a dungeon door. I'll love to check that out. Please, okay, okay. You actually followed. You actually followed. You actually followed. You need to die. Okay. This is difficult. There's doors in here as well, though. I need. Oh boy. Everything. Everything that is around this basically becomes what unkillable. Or maybe, maybe not. Okay. Oh, hello. A little bit too close for comfort there. Way too close for comfort. Okay. Oh, wait, just stop. Ooh. Yes. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Okay, it's running. Okay. Man, this is tough. I think there's another champion as well. Like, getting in the way of things. Uh, ooh. Ooh, you're here. Ooh. Please. Need you to go away. Why did... Why did they make the crab a champion? Now I'm hunting it. What on earth? Okay. I still can't kill you. What is going on? I'm so confused. Uh, uh, wait, actually. Wait. Oh, I can... Oh, the effect is gone now. Okay. Good. Because that was a tricky situation. Wow. Ow. Please go away. All of you. Ooh. That... Bow is lethal. Hold up. Drink this. Get some regeneration in. Please get out of here. All of you. Get. Uh oh. I'm running out of mana. That's a dungeon door. Yep, that's the same dungeon door as before me. Come on. Okay. Yep. Yep. Doing good. We have regeneration. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to really worry about. Nothing to worry about. Please get. Be gone. Don't trap me any more than necessary. Get. Can you just... Can you... Thank you. Okay. Okay. Nope. Drinking another potion. Whew. Okay. It's a bow. That's so lethal. That's another champion crab. Oh, okay. Wow. I completely forgot as well that I have the poison nova. Oh, man. Ah, now you're running. Okay. No, actually, I want your loot. That was way too much trouble for not getting any of the loot. Give, get over here. Get, die, please. I can't believe I'm wasting vault time running after a shellless crab. Oh, I don't even care about you, but I'm gonna get you anyway. That was something else. <laughs> that was something else. Wow. At least I should have this room to myself now, at least. What is this? That's one of the doors I can't open because I don't have a key yet. Okay, please let this not be impossible. Challenging. Um, I... It's gilded. 
I mean... It's skeletons. It's skeletons. It's skeletons, and I stayed in here for some reason. Mainly because I can, I know I can just, like... Loop them around. Kinda, sorta, I can't. Oop. Maybe. I can, I can deal with this, I can deal with this. I can't deal with the champion in here, though, so... I need to be very careful. <laughs> but... I mean, I'll get the chest up here. I don't know if I'll go any further, because that... That was a bit tough. Oh, that's a lot in that waterfall fountain thing. Is that what that was? Okay. Like, I could cheese it by placing blocks up here, but I really don't want to. I feel like that is cheating. <laughs> in fact, that's actually something that I think would be kind of cool. Is if the uh, they made it so these rooms... It wasn't able to build on them. I don't know if that would be possible, but I think that would be a pretty cool addition. A lot of people would probably hate that, but I would love it. I think it would really make these, like, uncheatable, basically. Like, either you can take them on, or you, you can't. Also, going in here was definitely worth it. Like, there's so much good stuff in here. I just need to be careful not getting like trapped or something like that happening. I mean, I can deal with you guys, but still, I would prefer not to. Ooh, bounty complete, yay. I feel like I'm missing a room. Like, I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not, I don't think. Unless there's a secret entrance somewhere that I haven't spotted. But I think this was actually the, the room. And all in all, that was actually not too bad. That was definitely worth it. And a trading room, mod box, helmet. Nah, not worth any of it. Okay, 15 minutes remaining. I would love to actually be able to find all these obelisks and activate them and complete the vault if possible. So I think I'm gonna try and focus on finding them if possible. Uh, so I guess this is just a desert room, you know, with all the explosives and whatnot. But this is an interesting design. I haven't seen this before. I like it. It's really cool when I'm not in the process of being killed by ginormous spiders. Another one, back to back. That is kind of cool, but I think I think I'll pass. I think I'll pass. I have 12 minutes to. Oh dear. <laughs> I have 12 minutes to complete this challenge, and I really would like to complete it. In fact, here's one. I'm just gonna clear the area first. All right, let's do it. Eight opponents should be fairly easy. Does have my health? That's fine though. Ooh, Avenger and a champ. Hold up, a champion. I think something. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that. I don't like that. That's not fair. That's definitely not fair. And a spider. I don't want to see. But ooh, okay. 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 That was a bad idea. Oh. Ow. Okay. 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 Ow, okay. Okay. I can't reach. I can't reach. I can't reach. That's a spider champion as well. Okay, I just need to get that guy down there. Okay. Good thing I actually hit that. I can't actually... Uh, I might be dead here. Nope, I'm not. I got it. I completed it. Oh. And that was, uh... And the champion's coming. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> ah, okay, that's an old one. Yeah, I died. Mm, this is a interesting situation. I'm just gonna... Do this so it can't climb over. Yep, okay. Never going back that way. <laughs> Ooh, add two minutes to the vault timer pylon. Didn't know those existed, but that is very cool. I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> Ooh, key piece. Yep. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Ooh. Is it worth the gamble? 
That's an Omega Vault Sword. This is not an Omega Vault Sword. I'm, oh yeah, it is an Omega. I think that might actually be one that I bought. Um... This is level 34. Do I gamble? Mmm... Mmm... No. 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 This, this sword is fine. I don't need another sword. This, this sword is fine. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, second one located. Just gotta get rid of these fellas first. That was easy enough. <laughs> Man, I love the javelin. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay. Here we go. Only six this time. That should be fine. Fairly easy to do. Just gonna get all rid of all these fellas. Losing out my health. Everything's fine. That's one down. Two down. Heal up. Three. And four. And I'll get rid of you. And that was that. Okay, next. <laughs> Another dungeon door. In nope, not happening. Not with piglins. <laughs> you can forget about it. Ooh, 100% iron rarity. That's kind of cool, except that I'm not really looting at the moment. I'm looking for obelisks. At least I think they're called obelisks, unless they're called like altars or something. Ooh, what is this? Is this the... But I don't think I've been in this room. Oh, there's so many gilded chests here. Oh, I... There's so many decorative blocks as well. <laughs> oh no, I really want all these. I really, really, really want all these, but I don't think an obelisk is gonna spawn in here. Is it worth it? Is it worth it that I just go ahead and loot a bunch of this stuff? It might be, you know. I think it might be. I mean, I have an orange if I really, really do insist on trying to get it. It might be complete a complete waste, but... I really want to loot, like, a lot of this stuff. I just need to remember that that is the way I need to go. Uh, yeah, that's just... I mean... It's a free, it's free loot, basically. Jewels and everything. Yeah, I might just stay here. I mean, I'll hurry up as much as I possibly can. But... Yeah. This is kind of cool. Oh, it goes down as well. <laughs> okay, I'll loot as much of this as I can. Because I think it is important and we will need it. But I will hurry. Try to anyway. Oh wait, I still, I think I still have, do I still have that effect? The item rarity effect? I don't know if that's gone. If it isn't gone, then I mean it's really, really cool. <laughs> but it might, it might be gone. It doesn't feel like though with the amount of stuff that I'm getting. What's it? The legendary sounds or whatever it's called. Okay, I think that that is it. Is there anything... What did I escape? But I don't remember. Uh, okay. Lore. Wait, a hundred pages. Okay. <laughs> Troll. Maybe, unless there's something on the last page, but we will never know because I need to get out of here now. You know what? For once, I'm actually going to grab an orange. I have more at home. I'll just have it as an as as extra. Okay, because I might run into an obelisk if I do. I might try and get it. If I can, I still need to go this way now. I'll take a challenge. Uh, kill dungeon mobs. I mean, if I find a dungeon, I'll stick my head through. But with one minute left, and I did play replace orange with my lime, because I don't think the orange is quite worth it in this one. In fact, I'll eat it now. I'll eat it now. And I thought it added two and a half minutes. Not one and a half, or actually only 30 seconds. Oh dear. Uh, that's my vault room, so I need to go this other way around. Got it. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, uh, e, e. Wait, it's only, it's only a minute? It, it, the orange is, isn't it? I thought the orange would give five minutes. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I just wasted a lot of gold because I, I paid a lot for that. But, oh no. I mean, it's only four. It's only four, right? It's four. It's four mobs. And the vault room is literally right over here. I can do this. I can do this. Just need to be extra careful. Extra careful. Get rid of you. Kill you. There we go. Okay. A little bit more XP. That's fine. See, that's fine. I wasn't worried. You're worried. So annoying, though. <laughs> so close, yet so far. I'm on the other... I'm on the wrong side. Oh, no. 
I am completely turned around. What is this? Oh no, not that room. I can't, I don't, I can't. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. This is, I really want, oh no. I can't stay. I don't have the resources to stay. Oh no. Man, I hate running through that room. That's one of my favorite rooms. Okay, so the vault room would be in that way. Unless I'm wrong. Okay, I'm so happy I didn't continue. Oh man, that... <laughs> man, look at that timing. Okay, that was, um, okay. Didn't know oranges and lemons were... I, I'm, I'm sure something maybe messed it up. I, I don't know, let's just go home. <laughs> yeah, we didn't complete the vault, so not that much XP. Only uh, 116 chest looted though. That's not bad, I'll take it. I will uh, take it. Uh, we got a key piece. We got a key piece. And that's a win. We just need one more key piece. Which will be really, really cool. Do we only have this much? Like, random stuff in... Wow. I thought we would have more in, like, the random... loot belt. I mean, that's good. That means we only got... Primarily got... Good stuff. Okay, three mod boxes, 57 all the chessons, a bunch of dreamstone. We must get like a couple of relics from this. And we, we have a key piece. Like we have, we, oh, oh, okay, okay. Exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Very, very exciting stuff. <laughs> very, I'm sorry, I'm very excited right now. <laughs> That's cool, okay, calm down. We'll put this over here. We are most likely going to get a relic today. Or ingredients for one anyway. Let's get rid of this stuff. This is all the... This is cool stuff. But it's stuff that I'm not going to look through. It's just nice to have. Um, we can go here. We can go here. We have some focuses. That needs to... Nope. It needs to go down to where the focuses belong. And whoa, that's a lot of jewels. That's a lot of jewels. Let's see what we get here. Focus, eh, not better than my shield. Helmet, uh, no, no. Fortunately, that is not better. The uh, cooldown reduction is cool, just not good, cool enough. Horde damage, kind of cool, but eh, not really what I'm looking for. Goodbye. I think I'll take a look at all these jewels. Like I'll organize them some. I'll cut some. I'll scrap if they're above size thirty. I mean, this is kind of cool, copiously and reach. We can might actually add some of these to our current tools. But yeah, I'll look through them in between episodes. We did complete this, which is really cool. So we can go up and, and do that. Nice. And how much? Yeah, we even have enough for another knowledge star right now. That's awesome. Wait, a sword. Ooh. Sword could be good. The base damage is better. So if I roll the prefix with more damage... If I get one that is more than 40, 40 attack damage and above in total, the sword could be good. But the chances of getting that, I feel, is quite slim. I say that and I get that, but yeah, no, I'm not going to waste on it. I'm not going to waste on it. It's not good enough. Not good enough. All right. Big moment right here. Disable that. Let's open these two. I don't recognize any of it, so let's see if we actually get... So this is the Richardy Relic. Uh, so this goes to here. This is the Nassar, so that goes to here. Okay, so... Ooh, we're getting close. Okay, please let me get a lot... Uh, okay, but first try. This is the Warrior. Oh, that's a duplicate. Okay, come on. Let's open all these. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, that's one. That's for the switch. That's for the Bessar thing. We already have that one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, okay, so actually that wasn't too bad. We now have one, two, three, four. Where we just need to find one and we have a relic. I thought we would get a relic today. But uh, maybe next time then. And speaking of next time. Look at that. We just need to make a key mold now. Which we're going to do that in the next episode. Yeah, a little bit of a cliffhanger. Deal with it. <laughs> what else do you expect? No, but seriously, next episode, 
gonna be really cool i need to look through these jewels in between episodes we'll probably apply some at the beginning of the next episode we'll make a blank key we'll use that key to do one of these most likely because we have a lot of jewels we can afford it and good stuff like that and actually hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on i just i'm just very curious i'm very curious what is this easy nice good we'll run vaults as well <laughs> But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, greatly support the channel, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Also, join my Discord server for uh, cool chats, uh, fun, and uh, notifications for when I upload. It's a win-win-win. Win-win. Win. I think. Like I said, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day, and good bye.